Hey there, this is a kettlebell workout for you if you're following along. It's week 19, day one. And if you haven't warmed it up yet, click the link right here to warm it up and come back and join me. Your first group of exercises here is two movements. We're doing them back and forth until you finish three sets of each one. The first one is called bent over retraction. Now your arms are gonna stay straight. And what's happening here is your shoulder blades, you're pulling your shoulder blades back towards each other. And then you're letting the weight pull your shoulder blades apart as you come down. It's a small range of motion here. We're gonna do 10 reps of that. And then your second movement is kettlebell swing. So you're pushing the hips back and then extending the hips through to swing that kettlebell up. I want you to do 20 reps for this one. The kettlebell only needs to come up about shoulder height at the top. This next group of movements is three exercises. You're doing three sets of each one. The first one is a front rack squat. So you just have one weight here. You're holding that right on the front rack position, which means your thumb is against your collarbone. Your elbow is high and that weight is just resting between your upper arm and your lower arm, right in that crease there. You're gonna do 10 reps, then flip sides, do 10 reps on the other side. Second movement is a kettlebell floor press. You're just lying on your back with your knees bent, your arm is straight. Go all the way down till the elbow touches the floor and then you're pressing back up. You're gonna start with what you think is your weaker arm and you're gonna do as many reps as you can on that side. Then you have to match it on your stronger arm. Your third movement is called toe touches. So you're laying on your back with your legs up and you're reaching up towards your toes with the weight. I want you to do 10 reps of that movement. And remember, it's three times through each one until you move on to the next group. First movement in this next group is a single leg RDL plus row. So your weight is in the opposite hand of the leg that's down on the ground. Push your hips back, row that weight up to the side, stand back tall. You're gonna do 10 reps on each side here. Your second movement is called a kettlebell side bend. So you're standing tall, you're pushing your hips out this way and then standing back vertical at the top. Now this is a small range of motion here but we're really working the hips and the obliques with this movement. You're gonna do 15 reps on each side. The third movement that we have is gonna be a kettlebell bicep curl. So you're standing tall here, curling that weight up to your shoulders. Now obviously the weight that you have will dictate how many reps you can do. We'll say just do anywhere from 15 to 25 reps for this movement. Now it's three times through each exercise and then move on. Your challenge for today is a front rack carry. I want your shoulder and elbow to be at 90 degrees here. And you're gonna keep your core tight and you're walking as far as you can with one arm. Then you're gonna switch arms and do the same thing. Now, as an additional challenge, you can go bottoms up with that hold. 
still keeping the elbow at 90 degrees. That's really tough to hold, takes a lot of grip strength. And you're gonna do the same thing. Core tight, you're walking as far as you can in one direction. If you're in a smaller room, just go back and forth, back and forth. Get as far as you can on each side. Go get it.